one last thing extension of this so let us say now i apply this is current source i let's say i apply small signals v1 and v2 so what is the output here v out small signal v out gm1 times mm -hmm. right remember this is a small signal gain we computed as product of the short circuit transconductance and the output resistance this is the input so now let us say i apply a common mode signal to the two inputs by that i mean both v1 and v2 are the same signal right that is both gates have changed by the same amount in that case can you say what is v out huh i mean you already have the expression for any v1 and v2 i am saying v1 and v2 are same equal to a vic so then what is v out zero so what can you say about the common mode gain why infinity see common mode gain by definition i mean i apply a common mode excitation and see what is the response of the ota to this common mode input now i see if i apply the common i apply a common uh, signal at the two inputs the output is zero what is the common mode gain zero and again just to remind you if i have v1 and v2 what is the common mode of the two this is the common mode similarly the differential is so now can you tell me what is the differential gain no what is the gain tell me the number it's the same thing that you calculated gm1 into r not to parallel or not i mean in fact uh, as you know i mean any two inputs you can decompose as a common mode part and a differential part and you can analyze the response only due to the common mode get the response due to the differential mode and sum up the two to get the total output and for a symmetric differential amplifier we did that because the symmetry kind of helped you reduce the circuit but here we decided it might not help because of the asymmetry and that is why we computed the gain as short circuit gm times the output resistance but nevertheless you can also find the uh, two responses separately and find the total output and as an exercise let's quickly do that so first i'll start with the common mode that's uh, simpler so i'm trying to find the common mode gain so which means i'm applying vic vic right small signal current source is open so again uh, the excitation is common mode because gate to source voltage is same so what can you say about the circuit it becomes symmetric right so i can basically say these two voltages are equal so i'll go and short is that okay so then the circuit reduces nicely so again you see that i mean although the circuit is actually asymmetrical only for common mode it becomes symmetrical so it's reducing so this is basically i'll say 2 times m4 here it's vic this is let's say 2 times m2 and then let's say the tail current source is there and this showing it here okay so now can you tell me what is v out c why ha ah, see other i mean uh, even without going into small signals the current flowing in the transistor is fixed so it means even if i go and change this gate voltage current is going to change or not going to change if the current is not changing the output voltage will it change so increment in v out is zero otherwise if you draw the small signal the current source is going to be open no path for the incremental current incremental current is zero and this also what we saw right common mode gain is zero and uh, remember that is zero because we have this ideal current source right but in practice you know we don't have an ideal current source so what i'll do basically consider this quickly 
So let us say instead of an ideal current source, we have the fifth transistor here, N0. So this is going to be So in small signal, what's going to happen? Supply is short, obviously, let me short the supply. So what will happen to this transistor in small signal? Uh, no incremental. The gate is fixed at a bias voltage. So gate is also incrementally short. It is just a resistance of R0. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll assume that here we have a resistor. I'll call it some RSS, source resistance. Okay. Here it is equal to R0 of M0. So here, can you help me find the output? Or firstly, can you help me find this voltage if I call it Vs? Let's, okay, for simplicity, let us ignore the R0 of this transistor. So I'm applying an excitation at the gate, finding the output at the source. What kind of configuration does it remind you of? Source follower. Ah, so what is Vs? Yeah. Okay, first of all, what is the GM of M2? No, I mean, M2 has a GM of GM2, 2 times M2, GM is 2 GM2. So GM2, 2 GM2 into? Again, we saw that uh, in the first couple of classes. Again, this is exactly equal if R0 is not there, but with presence of R0, this is approximately equal. Okay. We'll just do quick and dirty calculations. I mean, quick and approximate results, which are uh, good enough. So if this is the uh, source voltage, what can you say about the current here, ID? So this voltage by RSS, so the drain current is? Again, approximately. Is that okay? The first voltage I am writing based on the result we know from the source follower. And once I know the source voltage, the current here is basically this by the resistor. So now I know this current is ID. What can you say about this current? Minus ID. So what is V out C? Ah, minus ID into? Into the resistance looking here. What is the resistance looking there? 1 by? 2 GM4. 2 transistors of M4 put in parallel. So the GM is doubled. So this times 1 by 2 GM4. I don't have space. Okay, let me put it here. So this is basically uh, what? GM2 by GM4 minus Again, uh, sanity check. What is the sanity check you can do here? What is a quick quick check to see if the result is correct? A dimension is one thing, but is there something? Ah, we can put RSS to infinity. If I put it to infinity, what happens to the output? Zero. And that's what we expected. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. I mean, it's a common source with source degeneration. I mean. I am trying to drive the result quickly, right? If you remember the result, yeah, I can use it. If not, you can do it like this. And what is pointing out is you have, you, know, you might have seen something like this, right? Common source with the resistor at this here and so. So if you remember the expression for this gain, you can as well go and use it. Same thing. If not, that's how you, uh, I mean, derive it, right? I mean. That's a nice thing with circuits, right? You don't have to remember a lot of things. KCL, KVL, IV relation of resistor capacitor, everything else you can derive from scratch. Sorry, suppose M1, M2 gates are not equal, huh. then also we can uh, short both the drains of M1 and M2. Why, why, why can you short that? Because of the contradiction apparently. No, that contradiction happened because we assumed gate voltages are equal. Okay. Uh, please go and check once. The argument was, we assume that the gate to source voltage were same. 
right so which means if the currents have to be different the only possibility is for the drain voltages to be different and if we assumed one drain voltage was greater than the other drain voltage it resulted in a contradiction that the pmos current was not equal to nmos current okay so this is done so let's quickly do the this is the common mode uh, stuff let's quickly do the differential gain and wrap up today we'll copy this which is copy button this copy button okay so now i am applying a differential gain so which means i apply me raise this here i apply plus vid by 2 and minus vid by 2 okay so again uh, for small signals i'll open the current source now again if this were a purely uh, symmetric network something like this if i apply plus v and minus v what can you say about the this node for linear networks you can say that this is zero but uh, this is not symmetry so but so it's not trivial but we'll do an approximation saying the r not of the nmos tends to infinity okay let's say we make this assumption then if you try to write kcl here so here i have the gm vgs of m1 gm vgs of m2 if i apply kcl at this node some of these two currents must be zero, zero. so can you tell me the two currents quickly uh, let's say it's vx vid by 2 minus vx, minus VX plus gm1 into minus vid by 2 Minus v x is zero. So what does it simplify to? We have minus two g m one v x is zero. So v x is zero. Okay. And interestingly, right? So here, uh, let's say I also consider the current source resistance. Let's say I have an R S S here. How will the equation change here? Some of these two currents is equal to. So I'll just put it here. So here I'll have equal to Vx by Rss. So what is Vx still? Vx is still zero. So again, if you can ignore the output resistance of the NMOS transistors, even for a truly differential excitation, this is approximately zero. I mean, if you ignore it completely, it is exactly zero. Even otherwise, if that is large enough, you can approximate it to be zero. So again, now we can. Uh, th th this will help you reduce the circuit. So let's quickly do that and wrap up. So now th I know this node is zero. So I can basically go and say. Simple. So what is the incremental current here? Gm on Vid by two. So what is the incremental current here? Minus Gm1 Vid, Vid by two. So which means what is the current in this direction? Gm Vid plus Gm Vid by two. Okay. This current is what? Same, Same as Gm1 Vid by two. That gets mirrored here. So what is the total current flowing to the output? No, no. Fine. You have this current, Gm1 Vid by two, and this is one same current is getting mirrored here. So at twice of that current, Gm1 Vid. So this is flowing into the output. What is the output resistance? Here it's simpler because if you actually uh, check the circuit, let me actually quickly show this so that there is no confusion. So here, if you try to find the output resistance, sorry, uh, I'll, I'll incrementally short the gates. right so gates are incrementally shorted so if gate uh, for this guy gate and source are incrementally shorted what can you say about this one this node there is no change in gate or source voltage in the left side so what can you say about this voltage that will also not change is that okay i mean basically the current here is zero which means incremental current is zero which means incremental gate voltage zero so i can basically go and do this everything is 
is that clear so the moment i uh, do this now these two halves are separated so there is no interference from one half and the other so now it should be clear what is the resistance looking here you just have r not of this transistor r not of the transistor okay because for both of them gate is incrementally short source is incrementally short in the incremental picture you only have the r not so this is basically again same thing i am deriving it in you know multiple 1 plus 1 is 2 0 plus 2 is 2 but final result is 2 right it's all same okay and one last thing before we leave i mean so here we kind of uh, ignored something right in the calculation what did we ignore r not for the n mos and that's what gave us this approximate result so even when we calculated the gain as uh, short circuit gm times r out please go and check where did we ignore r not at one point we kind of implicitly ignored r not of the n mos transistor go back to the calculation and see in which of these two did we do that so that's why this is not exactly correct but approximately good enough sorry sorry ha ah, basically at one one of these two calculations we kind of uh, ignored the r not of the nmos you can check where so we use the approximation gm r not is much less greater than one yeah, yeah that's all we didn't ignore r not of the here also we have done the same thing right see here also if you work out the exact expression for this source voltage including r not what you will find is again if you make uh, this assumption we x is approximately zero okay in fact take it as an exercise you include the r not of the nmos transistors is running short find the source voltage vx and find when you can approximate it to zero Mm -hmm. and because of that we have called the average of the two voltages yeah so there we kind of ignored r not if you see there we use the approximation using gm r not much less greater than 1 we approximated impedance looking into the source of f is 1 over gm because yeah. of very low resistance kind of thing is there yeah here i mean uh, here it's okay huh because we are shorting that v out uh -huh. only we can say that impedance looking into the source of m2 is 1 over gm correct If it is not shorted, then we can't see yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. We are not saying anything about that impedance here, right? I didn't understand your. In that calculation, the short circuit. Uh huh. That yeah. Calculation. Yeah. There, uh, he is correct. It's there. We kind of uh, made this approximation and uh, ignored R not. Yeah. But we are straighter ignoring R not there. No, here also the where we ignored R not is to get this expression. Mm -hmm. Okay. To simplify things, I directly told ignore R not. If you ignore R not, it is exactly zero. if you include it and as long as this condition is true this will still be approximately zero right it installed approximations right okay let's stop here i've run running short on time yeah